Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. I hope you are well. In today's installment, we're going to talk about how to diagnose bent valves. Uh, in particular, I'm going to be using the R56 Mini with the N14 engine behind me. However, this information will apply to pretty much vehicles across the board. Basically, it's going to boil down to a compression test and how to narrow down what cylinder is the problem. Now, I'm just doing a compression test in this video because I know the shape of the engine. However, to truly do this, you want to do a leak down test after you've done your compression test on the offending cylinder that you might find. I've got videos covering both specifics on compression testing and leak down testing, which will be linked down in the description. For now, let's get to the action already in progress with a rough running engine on this 2007 Mini Cooper S. First thing I'm going to start with is a compression check. I'm going to remove all these plugs and uh, well, we'll see if we got uh, low compression on one or more of these cylinders. Now the Mini had, well, a weird size spark plug that I'm not used to seeing. In fact, my compression tester did not have fittings for this engine, so I had to go out and get a new compression tester with the proper fittings. So just be sure that your compression tester can connect to the engine that you're working on. By the way, you can often rent compression testers from your auto parts store. You don't necessarily have to buy them. Well, I've gotten my hands on a new compression tester, but I believe I found a fitting that will work. This one came with more fittings. Let's see if it does. Excellent. All right, this one's cylinder number one. Ooh, 90. That's not so good. Cylinder number two. Also about 90. Cylinder number three. That's our guy. <laughs> I can tell just by the sound. I'm gonna have to look to see you got zero compression on that guy. So cylinder number three definitely has an issue. And finally cylinder four. Also 90. So we have excellent compression on all cylinders except cylinder number three. We know that's our problem child. Uh, hopefully I only have to get a couple of valves, but the cylinder head's coming off. Now when I initially saw the first result of 90 PSI, I thought that that was low compression. In fact, I like to see things, well, up in the hundreds, but it doesn't always work out that way. But the fact that the other three cylinders that were operating all came out at about the same 90 PSI, I can reasonably conclude that those cylinders are okay. If there's a large variance between cylinders, yes, then that's worth investigation. But if they're the same pretty much across the board, you can be reasonably sure that that engine is in good enough shape to run. Now something else I will also say that comes into play here and that is battery voltage. If you have low battery voltage, it's not gonna crank very quickly and as a result, your compression test readings might be off as a result. And this concludes my video on how to find bent valves in an engine. Now I know we use this Mini Cooper here behind me, however this information will apply to, well, several vehicles, engines that make compression. Now, I should say that uh, this isn't the do-all end-all is finding out if it's bent valves or not. Actually, the leak down test, which once again is linked down in the description, will tell you specifically that uh, you have a problem in a cylinder and pretty much nail down exactly where it's coming from. However, I'm of the philosophy, especially in this case, that if you have low compression or especially no compression like we found here, that engine, that cylinder head is coming apart anyway, no matter what. So that's, that's really what you're trying to determine here. Is this a mechanical problem or not? So really, I should have titled this video, How to Find a Mechanical Problem with Your Engine. But in this case, I knew I had bent valves. As you see, I have them in my hand here. Now in subsequent videos after this one, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to remove the cylinder head and how to replace these bent valves. So please keep an eye out for those. I also have several other videos on this Mini Cooper. I'll link things down in the description to make those easy for you to find. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head to ericthecarguide.com, linked also in the description. I ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. All those things that help me make a living, really appreciate 
appreciate that. Thank you. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.